Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and this is a tutorial on how to make the Hammer of Thor. Right here. And it's actually a pretty neat project. It's kind of fun. It's easy to make. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. I just use some foam and some uh, vinyl cloth, kind of like cloth, and a broomstick for the handle. And that's pretty much it. I also used a, a plastic bowl or a, a plastic uh, margarine container there for the top there but that's all it is. You make it up, paint it, put it together and it comes out pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like it. I um, it also the the actual Thor hammer has words on it. I haven't put the words on it but you could go ahead and write the words on it if you wanted. So a couple of just a couple of things to worry about when you're doing this is painting it. You have to be careful when painting it. If you're using foam like I like I've used Certain types of paints, um, spray paints, will actually corrode the um, the foam. So you have to use certain types of spray paints, or you can just use brush-on acrylic paints, which will work fine. But here we go. Let's launch right into the tutorial on how to make the Hammer of Thor. Okay, here are the materials I used. Some foam, and this is actually called Foamilar. I picked it up in the Home Depot. Some vinyl. You can use cloth or leather. I just cut it into strips about an inch, an inch and a half wide. And the handle of a rake or your boomstick works fine. The paint I use is H2O latex spray-on paint. And I'll talk more about that latex paint. I also use the glue gun to glue the whole project together. So, cut up your foam. So you end up with, a, now depending on the size of your foam, you end up with a brick that's um, 10 inches in length, 7 inches tall, and 6 inches thick. See, I used a jig. I used a, a, a scroll saw, but you could use anything. You could use a hot, ni hot, hot knife. You could use a regular knife. You could use a, 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 you know, a hacksaw. Now, uh, sand it all up. Make it look good. See now, it's a, see the brick is done. I've glued it together. So whatever foam you have, you know, glue it together so you get a brick of that size. Sand it up so it looks good. Now let's cut the bevels. The, all the bevels are one inch in from the end. You know, so bevel off all the ends. I use the hacksaw blade here. Makes it real easy. See? And once those bevels are cut, sand them up nice so everything looks nice. Everything wants to be nice and flat. All the all the edges are nice. All the planes are nice and flat. So it looks like metal. Now drill a hole. I dr drill a hole a little bit larger than your your broomstick handle. I drilled it almost all the way through. It's about three quarters of the way through. You don't necessarily have to drill a hole. You could sharpen your handle and uh, and pierce it into it, but that's a little not as safe. I put a bunch of hot glue in the bottom of that hole, inserted this, the the handle in, and then added more glue. And I really tried to get the glue to get sink down into it, so it really holds nice and tight. We don't want the the head of the we don't want the head to fly off the handle. So there we go. It's pretty much built. Now let's just add the ornament to the top. I used a plastic margarine container like that. You could just cut a piece of foam if you wanted. Circular piece of foam. And then uh, it goes on top like that. So a little bit of hot glue. And there we go. Now we can take this thing on and paint it. I painted it silver with a little bit of uh, black for highlighting. But I wanted to show you here, see the red on the right is a regular spray paint. The black is H2O latex, you just saw the can. That's important. A lot of spray paints will just dissolve the foam. So test first if you're going to use spray paint. Now let's wrap the handle. Just uh, I actually did three layers to give it some good uh, thickness to it. Just wrap it like this, nice and tight, and let's make the collet that goes underneath uh, the head of the the, um, the hammer. I just carved it out of foam. Use some emery paper there. You can use sandpaper to get a nice shape. Then I cut it in half, and I glued it to the bottom of the hammer. Just like that. Looks good. We're just about done here. 
So do any final painting. Paint that collar. You know, glue that collar in place, of course. And uh, paint it up. Paint up more of the hammer if you want. And let's put on the handle strap. So I just wrapped it nice and tight with some more vinyl and uh, used hot glue to glue it in place. Some underneath like that and some underneath like that. Some over on top and some underneath like this. And then glue it in place tight. And that's it. Your hammer of Thor is done. A lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Lots more projects on my, on my YouTube channel here and on my website at stormthecastle.com.